So we're out here harvesting some beans on a guy's field that just passed away this past week. He was an older guy. Um, he was actually the guy, if you go back a few videos where we had the equipment tour and I was telling you about the dents in that pickup, he was actually the guy, oh, when I was 13, 14 years old, just about, oh, half a mile away from here, there was a big tree line. Uh, I was pulling out of the field, I was checking a pivot, pulling out, and as one of those learning lessons in life on how to drive, I pulled out right in front of him and, and hit the side of his pickup. He was all fine, he kind of got a little scratch on his elbow and stuff, but uh, I'll never forget that day. It's one of those moments you just never forget in life, and he's one of those great guys that, I mean, he worked hard. I mean, he's just one of those guys that you just look at, you, you know he meant what he said and said what he meant all the time great neighbor and friend uh, so yeah we went to his or I went to his funeral this morning and now we're out here in the afternoon uh, cutting his beans for him and stuff so I'd just like to uh, say thank you Ron and uh, you'll be missed in the area for sure and and God bless you and your family during this moment right now I guess so uh, thank you for that Hey guys, uh, we're getting started on uh, some drier corn now. Uh, we got done with soybeans on Saturday for the neighbor. Uh, we set up the auger this morning to a bin. This stuff's testing about 19 right now. We got some drier stuff, it's just we wanted to put the wetter stuff at the bottom of the bin. And so Brother Tom's getting ready to go. I started doing some ends and this happened. So my, this is your clean grain elevator chain. As you can see, it's not in a, it's got a few uh, screwed up deals here. And it broke. If it was the end of the season, I would just uh, put a patch in it or I don't know, whatever you call it, put a half link back in it and call it good finish. But since we're just kind of starting on dry corn right now, I just want to put a new one in. That way I have the peace of mind that it shouldn't break. And so what I got to do is I kind of had to crank it out with a pipe wrench. It goes in here and then it goes all the way up, up through there into your grain tank. This right here, by the way, is your moisture sensor on an S670 or any of the S series. That's what tells you your monitors, how, what the grain is testing. So yep, got to fix it. So yesterday I got my uh, clean grain elevator chain fixed all right. Right after that happened, um, a bearing went out on our auger, our bin loading auger. <coughs> it was the uh, bearing that goes to drive the swing away hopper on it. And that thing was kind of a bugger to get out. Um, end up having to use a torch. And about everything that could struggle on it was because it was just seized on there very, really tight and uh, just everything didn't want to come off on it. So uh, we finally got it going about noon. And so after that, um, I really didn't feel like uh, being on camera. I just was happy to be back in the combine and picking corn. We just, we ended up running one combine the rest of the day because we didn't have enough guys to start to get the second combine going. So um, this morning we're running two combines, and uh, but we might have to drop back down the one because we got to go up north to get some corn out that is starting to fall down, and uh, we might not have enough guys to haul. At least today, anyway, we might uh, pick up enough truck drivers tomorrow to uh, get that going, anyway. So we'll see how it goes, but that's kind of what's going on to start the day today. Um, it's windy out. Uh, this stuff, every once in a while, it'll it'll have something that's kind of fell down. Um, kind of going through a pivot track right there, you can see. But yeah, I don't know if you can tell this on this camera, but every once in a while you'll get a top out or um, maybe even one kind of falling over. So it's time to get out. This stuff's testing 18 right now, but um, 
hopefully the most the corn holds on it doesn't look bad for the most part we just got those few pivots that kind of look tough that we'd kind of like to get out so uh, we'll see how that goes anyway the importance of genetics and trying to get better all the time and not only placing your seeds but also the companies coming up with better hybrids to um, basically defend against stuff like this to be able to tolerate the weather better and to make agriculture more sustainable and contrary to what the popular opinion is is all organic stuff or whatnot not bashing organic again but GMOs can be bred to handle these conditions better thus making farming more sustainable and so um, this is just kind of a uh, it's never going to be perfect but we can always make it better so uh, stuff like this we kind of write it down chalk it up and uh, next year plan on putting a better hybrid or going to beans or whatever next year on this but um, it's interesting this is a hybrid issue this corn was planted the same day we have a field across the road that was planted the exact same day um, being on being or on being ground and so uh, that hybrid over there is standing fine so um, it's just a difference in genetics and uh, picking that stuff out and obviously we kind of failed on this one this year So what we'll do, we'll go through and we'll talk to the seed dealer, um, talk to our agronomist, tell them what happened, and try to um, defend against this in the future. And so pick up kind of what we know, and maybe this isn't a bad hybrid, we'll look through and see if maybe this hybrid did well in some different spots on our farm. So that's just something we gotta look at, go through, understand and figure out what we gotta do to to make ourselves better and to uh, figure it out for the future. It's either that or he disengages my auto track every five seconds. Oh, 
Well, I did it. I got stuck. This was smooth across here, I swear. But underneath, it was all collapsed. Basically, what's holding me up is my head. This is what it looked like when I was crossing it. But then apparently, underneath, it's caving out. So I guess we'll see how it goes. Stuff like this kind of ruins your evening. Oh well. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm not. They pulled out easier than I thought it would. So when you're combining down corn and going through rough stuff, your head does have the sensors. Hopefully you can see me okay. I mean, this is professional lighting in here. But um, you have these three buttons right here, and these are your settings. This is the one you pick up your head, and you can set your head height when it's raised up. And then you have two and three, and you can base the height settings based on this dial here. And when you come over here to the screen, you can see I have it on number three, which is right here. That's kind of my typical setting. And then when I get down corn, I, I set it to two. And if you notice that green bar is lower. And when I raise it up and down, I'm controlling that green dash. And that's kind of the set point you set it at. So I got it set pretty low right now to get down corn. Right, well, we're not down corn right now, but back there it sure is where I got stuck in all that jazz. So uh, yeah, and then we're to the end here. So I'm going to hit one, and it's going to raise it to the preset height that I have it set for. Also, as I turn it around here, you want to watch out for obstacles. When I'm at the end, you kind of turn and got to get somewhat close, and then you can hit your auto track and gauge to kind of find it. Then it'll find my rows better. Then I hit my number three, and then here I go. Now I'm ready to start picking corn. guys sorry for the low light again uh, need to work on my production crew Larry he needs to get his act together for my pickup lighting but anyway um, heading home now we didn't get the field completely done uh, we filled the trucks and carts for overnight uh, we'll start at it again tomorrow we just got a little bit left of that field um, yeah unfortunately I fell in that washout but in case if you in case you didn't know, that that's going to happen a lot with me because I was born with half a brain. So um, just be aware of that when you're listening to me on this show. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I do a lot of this stuff at my expense for your enjoyment. Um, that'll be my story, and I'm going to stick to that one. So uh, 
no thanks for watching guys and once again uh, i'll kind of dedicate this to the farmer who passed away and uh i'll just say his first name ron anyway so um yeah i just appreciate that and uh if you want if you, if you want you can hit that like button so uh thanks guys we'll catch you later